In this week's Parsha, Parsha Shlach, we read about the sin of the spies. As Moses sends these men into the land of Israel, and they return, unfortunately, with a negative report. And mass hysteria develops, the Jewish people lack faith in the Almighty, and the Jewish nation is punished with an extended stay in the desert. And the question is raised by many of the commentaries, what exactly did the spies do wrong? What did we expect from them? They were told to scout out the land of Israel, to report, what is the land like? What are the people like? What are the cities like? And that's exactly what they do. They say that the land is beautiful, but the people are strong. The cities are fortified. Why exactly do the spies get punished? In fact, many of the commentaries even stress they weren't liars. They didn't twist the facts. They didn't distort. They returned with a truthful report. Why is it that the spies were punished? And the answer to this question is how they framed their report. That same report, those same facts, could have been a report of optimism. But instead, they came back with a pessimistic report of doom. We have the ability to interpret the facts around us and to frame them as we see fit. One doesn't need to look any further than the daily news. You go to one website, you read one story, another website, you can read the same story, but by looking at the headlines, it's like you're in a totally different world. The ability to frame something changes our perspectives entirely. And I think an important lesson for us as we read this week's Parsha is how would we have interpreted the facts if we were among the children of Israel? Would we have allowed the spies to frame things negatively and to accept their negative report and their pessimistic message? Or would we have been able to look past it? It's our duty in life to look at the facts around us as people are reporting things to us, to think about them from our own perspectives, to not allow others to frame reality for us, but for us to think critically and think for ourselves. I wish you all a wonderful Shabbos.